Hey guys, Tony Sorry Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. As you can see, today is very cold, so I have no choice but look like Steve Jobs. <laughs> All right, so today's cigar is Daughter of the Wind Robusto. This is provided to me by Eric Smokwan. If you have one, he actually gave me two sizes. He gave me a large ass size and a small ass size. And Today, I don't have a lot of time, so I figure I'll start with the small size first. Apparently, they are slightly different. So they reworked this one. So now this one, the wrapper is Ecuadorian HVA, Finders Ecuador, Puyolo 98. The filler is Dominican Republic, Ecuador, and Nicaraguan. Uh, it's 5 by 50. And... Doo -doo 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 -doo. So the original blend has Costa Rican binder. And I guess that was the difference. Okay. Uh, being Robusto, the price is $9.25, which I don't think is going to be very hard to get to. But yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do with that. We'll see what we can do with that. Now we're going to switch to camera two. I want to take a good look at this um, particular, I guess, you want to call it cigar. <laughs> Okay, we'll start here. Zoom in. You can see this particular cigar is very shiny. Okay, it's very oily. Uh, it's got a little bit of texture on it. Uh, very leafy look. Uh, I like the color with the, the orange band uh, and, and like the greenish look. It's very like, I don't know, uh, tribal-ish, I guess. And you can see that there's a little bit of like toothiness to that, to this wrapper. A little bit too thin as just wrapper. Very, very shiny. So for every side, you can tell this is a leaf. And then it's got a closed cap on the very bottom. Yep, closed cap. And, and yeah, I'm looking forward to do this because this is very interesting. Almost like broadleaf light wrapper. So we'll get started smoking this nice cigar. Okay, we're back now. So, let's get started with the cigar. Banya smell. Yeah, it's like um, a dirty cedar smell. <laughs> All right, give it a cut. Doesn't want to cut off today. Let me correct that just a tad. Here we go. I don't think it's gonna have any cold draw because the foot is closed. All right, it's um leathery. Cedar. There's a little bit of licorice sweetness to it too. <laughs> that plat plat. Yeah, there's a little bit of sweetness too. And a little bit chocolatey. Chocolatey after. After note. All right, let's start. Good thing I have coffee today. I'm going to have some little coffee to go with this. Should be good. Oh, oh, oh.
right? There's a little bit of woodsiness. There's a little bit of pepper. There's a little bit of that that cabinet that you open uh, when you go to the market. They sell those cured ham. That that smell. A little bit fermenty but meaty. Retro Hell has a little bit of like a medicine bitterness and pepper. Yeah. Pepper, dry wood, and similar to those like really cured meat storage wood kind of taste. And then pepper just wore its way through your nose. And then you get a little bit of uh, uh, more of that woodsiness and ends with a little bit of like a medicine bitterness that's all i got oh yeah uh yeah that's what i got right now so um i smoke one third and come back to this one it's about a medium so it shouldn't be too hard to finish it quickly be right back all right second third this time is a lot faster you know why well guess what i found I found a tree in here. You can see, like, barely burn anything. This, when I pulled it out, it's the full length of this cigar. All right. So after I pulled this out, that medicine-ish bitterness went away. Now it's just old, old wood. Like it tastes like old age wood. Old age wood. It's a lot better. It became a more normal cigar. Um. I don't think I can get to that price range. Uh, it's about $9 right now. $9 right now. Because it's like, it's, it's a very simple cigar. It's a very simple flavor cigar. Not not flavor, but like the flavor is very simple on this one. Just wood and a little bit pepper, a little bit sweetness. And that's it. All right, let's look at the band a little bit. There you go. Daughter of the Wind. It's a horse with... That looks like two birds standing, facing each other. It's kind of nice. I mean, like I, like I said, it kind of looked like ethnics a little bit. And I think they say something about the... The term Daughter of the Wind. Came from a, a story, a 1989 story, maybe. I could be wrong, but I can I can see that you know that relationship to it. Um, in turn of the box, I think the box looks very normal, so there's nothing to show. It's like a wooden box, and they do have like um, how do you how do you describe that a refill pack that has like a sticker over it all right it's 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 okay and in terms of the size they just call this robusto right i think that's what they call it robusto daughter of the ring with robusto because all the other one has a different name uh, so the cigar gets its name from 6th century Arab Arabian poem, which produced in Costa Rica. So it's the same place that produced Adabe, Bayon, Cuba, Rica, um, Mbambe. But I, I didn't see anything particular about the name uh, of all the other ones, because all the other ones had like Pony Express. Um, what's the other name? Hold on. Let me get to that name. Because I don't remember the names. Uh, Primello. Pony Express. Pony 2023. Uh, Sabino. Rabicano. You know. 
they all have a name, but this is like Robusto. So I don't know. Really. It's not a very expensive cigar, right? So uh, in terms of the room to increase or decrease, it's not that high. $9.25. $9 I give it about $8 right now. And, and mostly because of this. I, I think I can actually get to $9, but it's it's not big of a difference per you know in terms of in terms of the production and um, what you get out of it. So yeah. Now I finish last turn, we'll go to uh summary. Be right back. Alright, so we're back. Um at the end. I want to say the flavor slightly changed, but didn't sway from it too much. It's still a lot of earthiness um, and less of a wood. Uh, there are some blank spots here and there. But can I knight 25? I guess you can. I mean, it is a $9 cigar, but I, I, I don't enjoy it all that much. It's $9 worth of tobacco kind of thing. So, yeah, it's it's it's. It's not a bad cigar. It's not a great cigar. Yeah, it's a normal cigar. Um, uh, it's a nine dollar standard kind of cigar. But yeah, you can get to nine dollar, nine twenty five, uh, kind of. Yeah, there's a lot of blank spot. Is uh, there? There are time where the 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 flavor is just not there. So. Yeah, I'll give you nine, nine, nine dollar, nine twenty-five. There you go. So yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's a very normal standard uh, cigar that I wouldn't say is special. I wouldn't say that you save it for anything. You just go there. If you go to a lounge, you're looking for a cigar. That's a that's an acceptable cigar to pick up, and that's it. You know. But yeah, big thanks to uh, Smoke Lines if you have one, Eric, for sending me the cigar. I'm gonna. Uh, visit that longer one which has a different binder and maybe it tastes different because he liked that one and he ended up buying this one to see if he liked it better he actually liked it i for me it was just a normal cigar it didn't taste any particular or stand out from the rest that kind of stuff so yeah that will be it for this particular review make sure to like subscribe and comment share and i'll see you guys in the next one um hopefully it's less of a boring cigar i mean i'm not i shouldn't even call this boring because uh, it's just not very particular right it's still what people expect as a cigar it's just not particular yeah so would i say people should smoke one yeah they should smoke one but yeah let me visit the larger one and we'll find out which one's better see you guys next time